Hello and welcome to the second episode of our Manor Lords mini-series. We're going to be looking at the development points available in the current build phase 0.7.995. There are four development trees with each tree focusing on a different area of development. These are farming, trade, industry and gathering. In today's video we'll be focusing on the trade tree. The first point we can invest into is foreign suppliers, which unlocks two new market stalls, one selling firewood and the other selling bread. As long as your region has enough wealth, these stalls will generate a passive income of those two key resources. Now, I see the appeal of these as a new player struggling to get to grips with things, but if you're able to generate enough regional wealth to keep this sustained long term, you probably don't actually need them. Food and fuel are your basic needs for villagers, and whilst these act as a nice crutch if you're experiencing shortfalls, given that we only have 6 development points, it does seem a bit wasteful to pick this one up. One thing that is a must have though is trade logistics. Regardless of the region, this is by far the best development point investment at the moment. Not only does it reduce the cost of opening up new trade routes to 25 regional wealth, well, for context, some trade routes cost as much as 500 regional wealth to set up, but it also unlocks the better deals upgrade which we will talk about next. Trade logistics becomes even more useful in the late game, when you're going to be uh, seeing a lot more trading to cope with the increased regional population and start importing resources and commodities that you can't yet create in the game, like candles. Better deals saves you a lot of money on imports, reducing all prices by 10 regional wealth, allowing you to import goods for cost price instead of paying a hefty import tax. It is essential to take this into the late game. Commodities like candles can't be produced yet in games, so you've got to import them. And investing into these trade skill points is extremely valuable and will make your late game experience a lot easier when it comes to trading. It is worth noting that there is an experimental patch currently available, which is patch 0.7.960. This changes both trade logistics and better deals, making the reduction in cost 50% instead of the flat cap that it currently has assigned to it. However, even if you are playing that experimental patch, these are still incredibly useful development point investments. So I hope this video has been useful. Let me know what you prefer to go for in the comments, and I will see you for the next episode of Manor Lords.